Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. Some may say that new research videos here on Shark Bites are like buses. You went ages for one to come along and then two come at once. Well, I'm somewhat cheating a little bit by calling this new research because it was published a little while back now, but because it's about Megalodon, I felt it definitely warranted a video. So let's get stuck right in and check it out. This new research that I'm referring to revealed that Megalodon was an absolute unit. <laughs> I'm just imagining the writing team at Science Focus magazine discussing how they were going to write this article and how they were going to captivate young audiences. And then writer James Lloyd just comes in, slaps down that absolute peach of a title. <laughs> so some of you may be asking, Chris, what on earth is a Megalodon? Well, Megalodon was a giant prehistoric shark resembling somewhat of a great white shark that roamed the oceans millions of years ago. We were treated to Megalodon a couple of years ago on the big screens when Jason Statham decided to throw fists with this giant prehistoric shark. Just a side note, I am 100% going to be doing a video on the Meg at some point because I think the film is absolutely hilarious. Anyway, in the past, scientists had only been able to estimate the size of this shark because as sharks are cartilaginous, it means their body decays fairly quickly, meaning that they leave minimal trace behind. So the only fossils that remained were from its teeth. It was initially thought that Megalodon was a relative of today's great white shark because of similarities between their teeth. However, the Meg is now classified in the extinct family Otodontidae, which diverged from the Great White Shark lineage about 100 million years ago. So because these two species are not closely related, scientists couldn't really use the teeth to body size ratio comparison with Great White Sharks. However, in this new research, scientists calculated Megalodon's size using growth curves from five living shark species, the Great White Shark, the two mako species, shortfin and longfin, which are Megalodon's closest living relative, the salmon shark and the poor beagle shark. With these growth curves, scientists were able to use a mathematical equation to accurately estimate the various body sizes of the Megalodon. The research revealed that its dorsal fin was 5.3 feet high, its tail 12.6 feet high, and its overall body length was 52 and a half feet long. Megalodon was an absolute unit, Thanks, James Lloyd. In all seriousness, though, this is actually some pretty cool research, and it's very fun to visualize just how big this prehistoric shark was. You'll note I've been saying the word prehistoric quite a lot, and this is just to make it clear that this shark is well and truly extinct. However, that doesn't appear to have stopped conspiracy theorists online claiming that this shark is still roaming around our oceans today. I'm pretty sure that the Discovery Channel at some point actually claimed that the Megalodon was still alive. But no, I can tell you it is definitely not. Firstly, if an animal that big was kicking around in our oceans today, there'd be some form of evidence. There'd be massive bite marks on large marine mammals and there'd be teeth littered all over the place. We wouldn't be able to stop finding them. And we have to remember that the oceans millions of years ago were significantly warmer than they are today. So Megalodon was a warm water species. So therefore, how would Megalodon survive the cold temperatures of the deep oceans today? Conspiracy theory debunked. So there we have it, Megalodon was absolutely massive, but is definitely extinct today. Sorry, Jason Statham. Yeah, thanks, pal. Let me know in the comments if you would have been shorter than Megalodon's dorsal fin. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you won't miss out on any of our new episodes. See you next time.